Are you looking to create silky smooth cinematic footage from your DJI Mavic Pro? In today's video, I'm gonna take a look at the gimbal settings and joystick controls on the DJI Mavic Pro and how you can tweak some settings to ensure you get smooth cinematic shots every time. Coming up. What's up guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name's Timothy and on this channel I focus on tech, tools, and tutorials to help you create the best content for your YouTube channels and productions. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. There's certainly no shortage of drone footage on YouTube these days, but to really separate your footage from the rest, you really need to achieve a smooth cinematic look. It's what separates professional drone footage from all the rest. So today we're gonna take a look at the Mavic Pro settings, get into the DJI Go 4.0 app, and I'm gonna show you the settings that I use to help create really smooth shots. Basically, uh, when you're looking at footage, sometimes you'll see that uh, the drones will move in a certain direction and then there'll be a quick jerk, or you will go in one direction and then change and move another way. Um, and it happens in really jerky motions because the controls and default settings on the Mavic Pro uh, really are very responsive to your input. So we're going to turn down the responsiveness of the controls just a little bit to help smooth out your pans and just to make everything look really, really good and silky smooth. So let's get into the settings and take a look. All right, so here we are in the Mavic Pro app. Um, this is the DJI Go 4.0. And so first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to the top right. You see these three little dots? You're going to click on that, and that's going to get into your settings menu. Now, first of all, we want to start with the general settings. So so that's this little um, drone icon up here on the top left. You're going to hit on that and it's going to take you to main controller settings. These are just some of the, the settings that I've got in here right now. But the ones that you want to pay attention to is actually down here under advanced settings. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to go to EXP first. So on the EXP menu, um, I've got the defaults at 0.25 for the throttle up, throttle down. And I've got the default on the forward right, backward left at 0.25. But the center one here, which is the rudder right and left, I've dialed it down to 0 0.20. Now when you're using uh, sport mode, all of these are 0.35, so everything's really, really jerky. Um, but lowering it down to 0.2 really gives uh, just kind of a smoother feel to the joysticks, uh, especially when you're, when you're doing your rudder left and right, which is your pan. And so... Um, just decreasing this a little bit is really going to help smooth things out. All right, so we're going to back out of this, uh, and then we're going to go to the next setting, which is sensitivity. And here's my settings here. On attitude, it's at 100. Um, basically, attitude is um, how aggressive the controller responds to your movements. So leaving it at the default 100 means as soon as you start touching the joysticks, they're going to react. There's not going to be a delay. So you want to leave that at 100. Break is the opposite of that. So when you stop using the joysticks, how quickly does the Mavic react? And so you want to leave that also the default at 130. But your yaw movement limit, um, its default is much higher than this. But I've set it actually all the way down to 50. And again, that basically just really slows down your yaw left and right pan, um, which again helps with that really cinematic look. So we're going to go back out of that. We're going to go to gain. And you'll notice a theme here, basically trying to reduce the yaw. So I've got 100 on the pitch, the roll, and the vertical, which is default, but I've knocked the yaw back down to 80, um, which is the you know a good, good setting for it. It's the lowest you can go. Um, and again, this is all just really going to slow down your yaw so you don't get those jerky movements. If you look down here in the cinematic modes, you can you know roll everything down here as well. Um, but essentially what I'm trying to do is get the effects of the cinematic mode outside of cinematic mode. So this allows, you know, the, so the settings that I've got going on here will allow for the yaws and the pans and everything to be really, really smooth. All right, next, um, we need to go down to the gimbal settings. That's right here, it's this little camera icon. We're gonna click on that, and it's gonna take us to gimbal settings. The first thing you wanna make sure is that your gimbal mode is in follow. Um, follow is gonna kinda make it float, whereas FPV is first person view, 
and that's going to lock the gimbal. And so if you, um, you know, sort of strafe left and right, then the gimbal is going to move with the drone. It's not going to float, so your horizon's gonna tilt right and left as well. So, uh, you know, that's a cool setting if you're using, you know, goggles or if you're doing, you know, racing and that kind of stuff. First person view is cool, but for cinematic things, we wanna keep it on follow mode. Then we're gonna go down to advanced settings, click on that. And here is kind of how everything on your controller's left wheel, where your gimbal control, this is how to smooth all of that out. So initially out of the box, your settings are such that when you barely touch the wheel, the gimbal kind of jerks and pans uh, and tilts down rather. And so um, this will really help smooth things out. So your gimbal pitch speed, taking it down to 20 is a good idea or lower. Sometimes I'll even put this down to 18, but that's the speed at which the gimbal tilts up and down. And so rolling this down really smooths that out. I don't um, enable the upwards gimbal tilt limit to 30 degrees. I don't really mess with that setting. I just leave it the way it is. I like the way the, the horizon's placed in the gimbal up position anyway, so that's fine with me. The pitch smoothness I've got set to 16, and I'm still playing with this a little bit, but this really, really, really helps um, basically your start ins and outs of gimbal movement. So it kind of slowly ramps up and slowly ramps down as you stop and start the gimbal movement. So that really helps to keep from real jerky initial moves, um, especially if you're in motion. For example, if you're orbiting around something and you start panning up, um, it really, really helps to have this smooth. And then enable synchronized gimbal pan follow. You want that on as well because this is actually allowing your gimbal to pan slightly. So the gimbal can't pan on its own, right? It doesn't move left and right. But with this, it actually does a very small amount. So as you're panning your Mavic left and right and moving the yaw, it actually will lead it a little and kind of buffer that some. So it allows you to create much, much smoother uh, pans. That's gonna bring us to question of the day. Drop a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Did these settings help you achieve more cinematic looks? I'd love to find out uh, just if this has been helpful to you and how it's actually assisting your filmmaking abilities. Let me know in the comments below. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope it's been helpful. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.